Hi everyone, welcome back to Nancy Drew, the message in the haunted mansion, where uh, where last time, uh, Nancy, did we die? We died last time. Yeah, last time we showed up in this mansion and we were snooping around, and then we got caught snooping, and that was a death sequence, and that's that's crazy because that's like most of what Nancy does is snooping. So getting caught for snooping, what do I? What am I? What am I supposed to do here? You know, <laughs> be stealthy? What? This is not a stealth game. Come on now. <laughs> ah, no, so, right. Um, so, where did we leave? We talked to this woman. She runs, we're in a B&B &B in San Francisco and it's haunted. And by haunted, they mean like, it's old, right? It's just like, they're like, oh no, the the drywall's breaking down, or or you know whatever. <laughs> oh no, we didn't secure something to the wall right. It fell off the wall suddenly. <laughs> so I yeah, so we have to figure out who done it. I'm pretty sure it's Nancy. I'm pretty sure Nancy is haunting this house. But hi dwarf, hi hi Dugnu, how are you guys? Welcome everybody. I hope you're having a good day, a good weekend. Was an actual death sequence or just a game over? They tossed her into a meat grinder. No, it wasn't an actual death sequence. I just got yelled at and kicked out. <laughs> so no, it wasn't a real death sequence. But I know, I know for a fact Nancy's gonna die in a fire. I've I've already determined this is gonna happen. Oh, that's what it is. This game is we're we're ninety percent sure this is just a fire insurance fraud scam. Right, we think we think that this lady and her partner in crime that we haven't met yet. I don't know. I don't know where she is. Uh, we're pretty sure. We're pretty sure they're gonna burn this place down for the money. I'm 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 very sure of this. It just it sounds right. How do I? Okay, leave. I already looked at this. There we go. Should I be suspicious of these candles? I feel like no, but maybe? I never know what to be suspicious of. I'm suspicious of Nancy more than anything. She's the one creeping around the house. Um, oh, I did want to go, what time is it? It's 2.30 a.m. or p.m. I wanted to go back into that room with the guy. No, not this room. Uh, maybe I should call somebody. I wanna call somebody, who can I call? Let's call Bess. Maybe, maybe she'll have some helpful advice. Four, four, six, eight. I think there's a couple areas that I haven't explored yet. That's what we're doing. God, I love the Nancy game so much. Hello? Hi, Bess. It's Nancy. Hi, Nancy. George is here. Let me put her on the speakerphone. Nancy? Hi, George. Hey, what's up? I'm in San Francisco, helping a friend of Hannah's renovate an old Victorian mansion. She wants to open up a bed and breakfast. Unfortunately, some strange accidents have delayed the project. Uh-oh. Sounds like you've got another case on your hands. Have you asked everybody about these accidents? Not yet, but I will. So, what are you two up to? Well, speaking of renovations, George is redecorating her room and staying with me till it's done. But we haven't had any accidents. Except when you spilled the soda all over the carpet. Okay, but it wasn't very unusual. So, tell us more about what's been going on. Do you know anything about the house's history? This is great. I didn't need to do a recap at all. We could have just called Bess and George. <laughs> uh... Ooh, we could gossip about Charlie. I met the resident handyman, Charlie. He's pretty young, and I don't think he has much experience. Maybe he doesn't charge very much, so he's probably a good bargain for Rose. Yeah, or we know that. He's cute. Best, that too. Is that all you can think about? No. <laughs> uh, yeah. Give me a clue. Can you guys give me a clue. I'm not sure what to do next. We'll be more than happy to help, but it might be more fun to figure it out on your own. Have you met everyone? 
See if Rose has any information on whoever is working in the house. She probably has a schedule on her desk. Oh, I already looked at the schedule. Well, who have I not talked talk to? Later. Goodbye. Okay, wait, 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 wait. This is... Wait, did I talk to Rose or did I talk to Abby? Okay, I see Louis, Charlie, and Abby. What time is it? It's three. Okay, so Abby is not there from three to six. Louis is there from noon to five. And Charlie is there from eight to five. Well, I know we've, we've met Charlie. We've talked to Charlie. Is there another whole room that I've missed? For a mansion, this place feels pretty big still, gotta say. <laughs> Um, is Charlie down here still? Whoops. He is. Hey Nancy, I really need to finish this up. Sorry. All right. Well, fine. I didn't even want to talk to you, anyways. I actually. I actually. I should have waited until. Yeah, that's leave. right. Okay. Yeah, I need to wait for you to leave. So you need to not be here. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, so nobody cares about Charlie. He can get wrecked. He can just leave. How are the tiles coming along? What? I finished. I'm all finished, but you should know what I found. I'm sure it's very interesting, but unless it's really important, I've got other things to worry about. Let's see. If you're any good at fixing things, there's a dumbwaiter in the hallway that's not working. A dumbwaiter in the hallway. Okay. I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. Thanks for your help. You called me about being concerned about your mansion being haunted, and I'm like, hey, I found something weird. Do you want to know about it? And she's like, no. <laughs> no, why would I want to know about weird stuff going on in my mansion? I told you there was weird stuff going on in my mansion. We already know there's weird stuff going on, so why would I care what it is? So where is... How do I... I thought they were gonna be in this room. Lewis from noon to five- Where's Lewis? Who's Lewis? I wanna go through those doors so badly, but I cannot. Okay, but there's nobody, so there's nobody else in here. Where's Lewis? Alright, so there's that. That goes upstairs. Here's the dumb waiter. The rope is cut. Yes, I can see that, Nancy. Don't know what I need to do with that, but I can see that, that is in fact true. All right, that's the room that leads to Charlie. I guess that room doesn't go anywhere. And there was nobody in the front room over here, right? Oh, door. Hello? Is anybody home? No, but I did forget about this room. There's chess or something on the computer over here I need a passcode for. Okay. That's the fire extinguisher before I, before I when I die in a terrible, terrible accident fire. <laughs> a terrible on-purpose accident fire. Oh no, I got that. Done. That. There must be some rooms upstairs. What time is it? What time does Charlie leave? Charlie leaves at 5. It's 4 p.m. Okay. Where the heck is Lewis? Can't get in there. 
Oh, that's right. I need to get into this attic. How the heck do I do that? That's like the biggest thing I need. If I can get into that attic, I feel like I'm going to be able to... What is that noise? Why can't I move? What's happening? Why did the- what was that? What was that? Why did it make an- this is my room! Why did everything get so spooky when I entered my own room? I don't think anything's different. Nothing here. Fireplace? Dragon? We looked at the dragon, right? So, yeah, this is the daughter's thing. Right? Okay. Why did you make that noise? Ah. Uh, I didn't need to be stressed out like this already. Oh, hello. I haven't really admired the, the edge of my bed. That's very nice. Um, I guess. I do feel a little creepy that this is all furniture that was just left here that I'm sleeping on. What is this? What's- what do you mean it's stuck? What?! <laughs> I hope you're the attic key! It's stuck. I- What?! <laughs> Man, I'm 10k from that another Shrek game. Another Shrek game. Oh god! Oh, I forgot I left that in there! Oh no, I need to get rid of that! <laughs> no, we can't do another Shrek game! I'm freaking Shreked! <laughs> Goofy Bits, it blew up my computer last time! I can't be doing the Shreks! <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I'll have to make it some better redeem, like um, uh, like a Barbie game or something, <laughs> something that everybody would enjoy. <laughs> All right, did my room make the creepy noise because somebody put a weird key in my bed? I'm so creeped out by that. This is such a creepy game. This might be the creepiest Nancy we've played so far. Do you work it's here? Locked. What do you mean? It's locked. I know it's locked. What the heck does this key do then? It's locked. <laughs> what do you want me to do with this key? It's the only thing I found that's locked. Oh, uh, what time is it? Mm, no, too risky. Turn around, turn around, Nancy. Close that door. Uh, that one, and then over here, and that goes downstairs. Okay. Well, I don't know where this Lewis person is. I don't know what this key goes to. Uh I don't know, I feel like I need a brick or something for the dumb waiter. I should just I should just throw something in the dumb waiter, right? See if it hits somebody. <laughs> also, hi Goofy Bits, how you doing? Sorry, I'm off my game today. I think I'm coming down with something. And I'm I'm very worried about that because I read really I got like so I have so many things I'd like to do, like stream, and, and talk, but I'm I'm worried I'm I, I'm getting sick. Down with the sickness, absolutely. Oh, so this is what they were warning me about in the song. Oh, uh, I thought I was getting down to this sick beat. 
Oh no, that's that Avril Lavigne song, isn't it? Hey, hey, wait. My best man likes his new girlfriend, she said. Oh my god. I just want to shake. No, that's Taylor Swift. <laughs> but speaking of Avril Lavigne, I was listening to, uh... It's stuck. Will this help? It's stuck. It's stuck. All right. I was listening to Avril Lavigne's Let Go album, her 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 album that has a uh, Skater Boy on it and Complicated. And oh my god, such a good it's it hits me so much in the nostalgia feels. This is one of the first albums I ever owned. Oh my god, it's still it goes so hard today still. Can I not look at this thing that's over here? Down this way, Nancy. Turn around. Up. I cannot. What? Nope, I cannot. Okay. Okay, I think that Charlie guy's left. Now hold- wait, now hold on a second. Oh, don't do that. No, hold on. I don't want- I don't- do I want to do that? Maybe we'll save and then we'll see what that does. <laughs> I feel like it's gonna kill Nancy. I feel like I'm gonna release a chandelier on my own head. See, I told you, the ghost is Nancy. The ghost is freaking Nancy. She's so creepy. Alright. I think he's gone. I can investigate down here now. Yeah, baby. <laughs> See, now this feels like a trap. <laughs> Nancy's gonna die in a fire, I swear. Nancy's gonna die in a fire in this game. Maybe we just, maybe we just, okay, can we just, can we just, just real quick. <laughs> okay. Nancy, you've got me so nervous for no reason. Or for a lot of reason, is because you make very silly it's decisions. Stuck. God, Nancy! It's stuck. It's stuck. Ugh! What am I supposed to use to pry things up? Where am I going to get a screwdriver? Hello. Oh, let's rob the till, Nancy. Uh. Ooh. I'll take that. That's all that's in this till? Somebody's secret keys? What else can we steal? I love how much thievery is a part of the Nancy games. She really- she takes a lot of stuff. <laughs> she has no right to have any of these keys or even the paint scraper is not hers. <laughs> Are you gonna steal some of his stuff? Yes! Take his tools! Yes! Oh yeah, there's no way that a, t that a construction worker man, a handyman, would need a screwdriver. <laughs> Flathead screwdriver? No, what do you mean? He'd never need one of those. It's not the most useful item in his whole tool, tool belt. What is this? Is the table just haunted? Okay, I don't- I don't, I don't know what to do with- I don't know what to do with secret table door. Ah, so suspicious of everything in this game. <laughs> He's got me so nervous. I gotta say, other than other than being sick, I've been having a pretty good day. I was sick, so I didn't go to work, but I did sleep, which was great, and I did rewatch Mean Girls, which is also great. <laughs> And that was basically my day. <laughs> so all in all, not the worst. I'm just hoping if I do get down with the sickness that, uh... That it's like, you know, just the weekend and then Monday we can be- we can be back- back at it. Okay, so I have that new key- oh wait, 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 I have the screwdriver. Okay, there's that. 
So can I pry up this gate? Yeah, Nancy, I'm still gonna go- I'm gonna go ahead, now that I have the useful stuff, I'm gonna save again. <laughs> I don't know, it just- I- I just- I wouldn't go into a- a, a fireplace grate. That feels like a recipe for getting killed. It's stuck. It's stuck. It's stuck. What else are you supposed to lift a grate with? How- how possibly? It's stuck. It's stuck. It's stuck. It's stuck. I- how- I- I literally- I don't know what you want to get that unstuck then, Nancy. Whoa! Didn't like that. Didn't like that one bit. Why did the door close? Stop! <laughs> Stop, game, you're scaring me. <laughs> it was indeed stuck. I mean, the game wasn't wrong about that. It was stuck. Um. Okay, I bet, but with the screwdriver, though, maybe I could. Maybe, is this thing still stuck? Where is it? There's a grate somewhere that's also stuck. Is it this one? Okay. Oh. Um, can I, can I take this? Okay, so this is a speaker, right? It, that tells us that somebody is purposefully pretending to haunt the mansion? What, by just going, ooh, through the speakers? <laughs> I, we haven't heard any, like, ghost noises other than Nancy creaking on the stairs. Who's- who set up the speaker? For what? Also, this feels like a pretty fancy speaker for- what year is this? 19... 2000? It's a peeker? It's a peeker speaker. Peeking out through this grate. Yeah, I still- okay. <laughs> wow. All right, so now we know that, I guess. Who's that person who- not my room. Over here, I think? Yeah, this room. Hello, Nancy. I see you've arrived safely from your long journey. But I'm sensing an aura of danger around you. I can tell you're an inquisitive type, a little skeptical, and that you don't believe in ghosts. I don't believe in you. I'm skeptical of you. No, you're suspicious. And to you? And you do? I sense a very strong but restless spirit within these walls, and a restless spirit can soon become an angry spirit. Is it you, though? <laughs> what does your intuition tell you? Does your intuition tell you who could be behind these recent accidents? I'm not sure. But for some reason, the name Valdez has a strong connection with this mansion. Yeah, no, I also went through the historical records of the mansion and saw the name Valdez. It doesn't take a super sleuth to look at old documents. Uh... More info? Any more information on Mr. Valdez? Now, if you will please excuse me, I need to prepare myself for this evening. At that time, more will be revealed. Um... What? She didn't even... She didn't even acknowledge my question. She just shooed me away. <laughs> I like that it only appears when I hover over the text box. <laughs> okay, well she's haunting this mansion too with her creeping it. Um, okay, so I- Oh, wait, wait, wait. I got another key. Turn around, Nancy. Turn around, Nancy. What time is it? Seven. Okay, turn around, Nancy. Turn- turn- Nancy, turn around. Surely one of these is an attic key. Thank goodness.
Please don't be anything spooky. Okay, well that counts. That's spooky. Okay, is that it? That's the amount of spooky? Okay, we can start with that. That's about the highest level of spooky I can handle. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Didn't like that. What is that, an iron? But it looks like the iron piece in Monopoly. Golden Gate Gazette. Valuable hints! <laughs> wow, I didn't know they po posted valuable hints in the newspaper. Ooh, another tile. That. Uh, a sickle. <laughs> what are they doing with a sickle? Do they have a lot of land in the... in San Francisco? The mystery story- oh, the mysterious storybook. She pushed her auburn hair back behind her ear and continued the arduous work. Each pile of dirt seemed heavier than the last and the damp night air was stifling. Somewhere in the distance, a clock struck midnight. Suddenly, the sound of hitting metal resounded from the bottom of the pit. Carolyn dropped to her knees and quickly dug around the dull metallic chest. Soon, the lid was uncovered, and she pried its lock open with her crowbar. Her eyes flashed as she saw the chest's contents. A thousand pieces of gold glinted in the soft moonlight. Captain Steuben's treasure! A young heroine cried. And soon it will be mine! A gruff voice interrupted from above. Before she could react, Carolyn saw the backside of the shovel for a split second, then dark. When she awoke, she could hear faint chink of gold pieces hitting one another. She struggled to stand up, but found her hands and feet tied together. She slowly moved her hand to her back pocket, but found that her penknife was gone. Looking for this? Mr. Niles grinned, standing over her with his knife in her hand. I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> hey, frozen hamster, welcome back. What? What have I done? <laughs> I made Mr. Niles sound like Kermit the Frog. <laughs> Welcome back. How you doing? I know how clever you are and took the liberty to remove the contents of your pockets. Please excuse the liberties I have taken. All right. Was this supposed to be scary? Oh, I'm sorry. Hi, puppy. Did my Kermit the Frog voice freak you out? Do you want to say hi to the people? Hi, people. Hi, puppy. Hi, people. Hello. Hi, people. Oh, go to, go to bed. Lock you up. <laughs> it's so bad I can't repeat what you did. Oh my goodness. I didn't realize I'd committed such atrocities. I'm sorry. <laughs> it locked. It's locked. Wait, I have a key. It locked. Damn it. <laughs> it locked. All right, still locked. Great. Wait, how many keys? It locked. Still locked. How many keys do I have? Little lock? Oh, yes! The bandit's treasure. I'll wait in Yerba Buena town in a house high above the sea. There's something hidden here. Oh, it's the notes. The notes are highlighted. I didn't. Okay. Uh, now what are the notes again? Is it. Um. C is like the blank space second down, I think. So is it, is it, what's for B? B, E, uh, G, A, 
B E G A G Bagag. No, that can't be right. <laughs> Bagag? That can't possibly be right. Uh what what are the What are the I'm gonna have to look up a staff really fast. <laughs> Staff notes. Okay, so, so. No, the middle line, the middle line is a B. The middle line's a B. 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 Oh, B E. B E. B E G. Beg. B E G A G. Bagag? What is bagag? Wait, I was right, right? B bagag. What the heck is bagag? <laughs> oh, those are the only ones highlighted, right? I think it's A for ah. <laughs> the song is just <laughs> It's just a high-pitched wail. That's all the song is. <laughs> bagag? Or is that the song? Do I need to play this on the piano? Oh. Is there more to this music than what I'm seeing? Is there more to this music than what I'm seeing? Yeah, probably, Nancy, now that you mention it. But this is the tale of the bandit's loot. How it came to be. Is there more to this music than what I'm seeing? There definitely is, Nancy. You need like a decoder or something. Can we take this with us, Nancy? There's something hidden here. Nancy. No, don't Nancy, please. <laughs> okay, it's Lizzie Applegate. Now Nancy, please, there must be more here. Dear Pin, that letter skull, no, letter shall serve as an introduction for my faithful employee, Wing Tang, who had been employed in my service and led... No, head chef for over 10 years. It is with much regret that I must discharge him. And were it not for the retirement of my establishment, I would still retain his services. Sincerely, E. Valdez. Okie dokie. Oh, beginning. Wait, this is one of the this is one of the letter this is one of the symbols I need. Beginning. Beginning. Right? Yes, beginning. Okay, so it's a line and then another line and then also some other lines. Okay. Got it. There's something hidden? I don't believe it. Something hidden? In a Nancy game? No. You're crazy. <laughs> Just start gaslighting everybody <laughs> who plays Nancy games. What? More than meets the eye. You're crazy. <laughs> the bandit's treasure. That's it? Just the bandit's treasure? Uh, okay, so I think that's all of it. That, this makes me think I'm gonna have to come back here for that music sheet. I'm 100% gonna forget that it's up here, but that's a problem for later. <laughs> when, I, when I know what I'm doing.
Okay, I think... Is that everything? No, it's not. What is it? What? What was that that I grabbed? Is that a crowbar? Oh, heck yeah, bud. Heck yeah, bud. Oh, yeah. Oh, we can go to the fireplace. Clearly my dumb little screwdriver wasn't going to do anything. I'm not- I'm just not reading that. I just- that's way too much cursive. It's way too much. <laughs> Sorry, you've left way too much lore in here. I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna read that. Sorry, book. <laughs> hey, Chipchelio, how's it going? What do you think of my idea story? I think it is very dark, but I could definitely see your Nancy story working. You know, because they have like those- those dark, gritty versions of- of- children's properties, right? <laughs> but I think your version of Nancy would be so intense it would have a very limited audience. I, Unless it was done really well, you know? Because it's an easy topic to really mishandle. Of a, of, a, of a dark, gritty Nancy. But I think it could work. It's an interesting idea. Okay, baby head. We started on baby head. That's where we're at. How did I get in here? There it is. Good! <laughs> Great! Good! It's stuck. Oh, shocker, Nancy. It's your catchphrase of this whole gosh darn game. I don't know why I thought- I really thought I was about to be jump scared right there. Okay, let's save though, because this game makes me so anxious. <laughs> Tilda, hi, how are you? It's so good to see you. Tilda, what's the, what's the creepiest Nancy game? Or anybody, really. Anybody, feel free to answer. But I know Tilda's played a number of these. What's the creepiest of the Nancy games? Because this one is creeping me out a little bit, if I'm being honest. Like, it's kind of spooking me. <laughs> uh, I'm so curious about what this does, but I feel like it's going to kill Nancy. But I just saved so we can kill Nancy. No, she's not standing over there. She won't die. Whoops. <laughs> You did what? Um, I unhooked oh, the chandelier and it <laughs> crashed to the floor. I can't believe it. No wonder Rose asked you to leave. I don't Oopsies. know what got into me. <laughs> Sounds like you really goofed up. Just don't vandalize the next <laughs> no, house you stay in, okay? No, George! <laughs> Especially if it's ours. George, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to goof it up so bad. <laughs> no. What? Why did it send me all the way back here? Okay. That was weird. Um. <laughs> uh. Oh, hey, Power. How's it going? Episodes in Sam and Max go on. Later episodes are better than one. You can tell they weren't sure if people would like it to buy it in Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm planning on playing the other episodes. I just want to, like, space them out, you know? I don't feel the need to do all the episodes at once. So, like after Super Monkey Ball 2, which we'll do after this game. This game and then Super Monkey Ball 2. I'll probably do another episode of Sam and Matt. But I wasn't gonna like give up on it after just one episode. Ghost of Thornton Hall and Shadow at Water's Edge. This one creeped me out so much as a kid. <laughs> Ghost at Thornton Hall, Shadow at Water's Edge. Okay, that's good to know. I think I've heard that one, the Ghost of Thornton Hall as being like one of the scary ones. Do we ever see what Nancy looks like in this series? There's a logo, but it's blacked out. That's a great question. I don't think so. I don't think we ever see Nancy. Like she's never looking in a mirror or anything. You never see her. Oh, you know, you do see her in a cat suit in Phantom of Venice, but again, she's entirely blacked out, right? She's entirely in this cat suit. 
So you don't really get a good sense of what she looks like. Um, I just got a bunch of stuff. What do I need to do with it? I got a crowbar and an iron. Oh, I bet the iron's for the dumbwaiter, because I needed something for the dumbwaiter. Nancy, you're so creepy. The dumbwaiter. There it is. All right, can I... I hope that was... Oh, let's, let's check it upstairs. I, ho <laughs> I, <laughs> I mean, it let me do it, so that feels like it's the right thing to do. What time is it? Oh, it's fine, it's not even 10 p.m. Uh, dumb waiter. Ooh, tile for me, thank you. Dragon eye pottery. Ooh, is this my this is my eye symbol? Okay, so I have so I have the symbol. I've been looking for these ten symbols this whole game. Okay, so I have beginning daughters four eye fire moon river. I'm missing child, king, and gold. Child, king, and gold. Let me know if we see those. I'm gonna mention the cat soup, but didn't want to be the one to bring it up. When the eye of the phoenix is in your hand. It's weird. It's weird. The Nancy in the cat suit, I'm never gonna get over it. Like, it's always gonna haunt my mind. All right, we'll just close that back up. Leave that for the next person to find in there. <laughs> uh, shoot. Okay, I need. Oh, the crowbar! The crowbar! The crowbar! That's what I was gonna do. Okay, I was gonna see if it would open the fireplace for me. Where is it? All right, and we're just gonna save real quick because you're making me very nervous, Nancy. <laughs> and save. It's weird, with the second chance, I don't feel the need to save a lot for Nancy games, but with this one, I really am feeling the need to save a lot. See. You gonna die in a fire, Nancy? No, you're so gonna- you're gonna die if you go in there. You're gonna get set on fire. No, you must be joshing me. Uh... <laughs> uh... Episode 4 might be a theme stream? It's called Abe Lincoln Must Die. <laughs> Election Day stream. <laughs> President's Day. Gee willikers. What a shame. <laughs> Abe Lincoln's assassination day. What is what's the what's the theme? Just jump, nothing will go wrong. Yeah, okay. Th yeah, that sounds good. Alright, I trust you, frozen hamster. Mm -mm. It's so dark in here. Mm-hmm. I can't see where I'm going. I need a flashlight. <laughs> oh no, she's drowning! <laughs> all right, so we're just gonna, we're gonna, all right, so we need a flashlight. <laughs> okay, I have to say, the drowning I didn't expect. I didn't expect her to drown. Um, I really thought she was gonna get caught on fire. But I guess they don't just, like, store fire underneath the Emotional fireplace. Emotional damage! <laughs> Thank you for that, Frozen Hamster. I mean, I would say it was a little more than emotional damage she took. She she, she fully died. <laughs> there was some physical damage with the with the splashing. I, I would argue. 
Do I have all the tiles that I need? Where do- what, what room was that? This one? Ooh, did she leave her stuff? Yeah, baby. To-do list. Pay bills, order paint, measure windows, replace lost tiles. Refinish kitchen cabinets, sand and polish all the wood. Didn't you hire a man to do all of these things? Why do you need to do that? Homeowner's insurance. Broken kitchen gas line. What do you mean broken kitchen gas line? That's a great way to start a fire. First water main and upstairs bedroom. Scaffolding collapse vandalism. Stolen roofing materials. How much did you get for that? I mean, it's, it says your account line is a million dollars, but it- Did you get anything for these claims? Received accident supports you've submitted. We're very concerned about the high number of incidents. Although we would not like to raise your insurance premiums, we must examine this option if accidents continue. We are delaying any payments until we can send our building inspector. Oh. Uh... Hmm, gonna be a lot harder for her to commit insurance fraud that way. Dear Rose, what a pleasure to meet you and Abby. As we have discussed, I'm extremely interested in examining the collection of old books that came with the house. It will help me considerably with my research of Victorian antiques. In exchange, I will be more than happy to consult you on renovations. Victorian homes pose many difficulties. Structurally and aesthetically, especially for an amateur renovator like yourself, my expertise in this field can save you both time and money. I'll come over tomorrow at noon to show you the roof tiles I found for you, also a good deal on scaffolding. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, sure. Sounds pretty convenient for you, Lewis. Uh, did she really die, or is it fake news created by dark pits? Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, the- no. Nancy's just gaslighting us. She didn't really die. She was screaming for no reason. <laughs> that's- that's really what it is. That's why she really wants to get the house fixed so she can get insurance money. Exactly. Well... I mean, I guess, because she's definitely gonna burn it down, so she has to fix it up before she burns it down. Which, I don't know, seems kind of like a money pit at some point. Is this not the right room with the tiles? Your to-do list said where the tiles were, right? Oops. Oh, is it back in that library? Okay, is this where the tiles were? Aha! Yes! <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I'm sure these- Okay, okay, great. Then... Did we do the secret code right? Can we get into the fireplace now? Oh god, we can! What?! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> what time is it? Okay, it's, it's 11 p.m. That's a good time to be- Ooh, don't like that. Don't like that. Hi, we're gonna save. Uh, we're gonna save. Uh, you're making me so panicky today, Nancy. Ah! <laughs> okay. Alright, this is fine. Everything's fine. Is there another- just this one? Alright. Okay. Well, let's- let's- Let's boot scoot on in. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Gosh, this place is so creepy. Child. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I'm only missing king and gold. Symbols for king and gold now. Uh. Child. Okay, got it. Uh, lantern? Oh! Oh, sick! 
Oh, hold on. Don't touch that, Nancy. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> Let's look around a little bit more before you Indiana Jones release the spears out of the walls. Oh, is that all there is in here? Okay. Ah! Oh. <laughs> oh, it's my own eye, eye peephole. Okay, so a peephole so that you can peep on the... Ajong game? Okay. Alright. A lot of peepholes in this place. Lots of pervs looking around, peeping around. Alright, back out we go. Still don't have that. There's some chests. Uh... I, I feel like I looked around... Over here already? No? I don't know. Spoopy. It's so spoopy! <laughs> Uh, um, I, it's so spoopy that I, I really, I don't know what to do with myself. I, I, I mean, oh, the lantern. I got the lantern. Do I need to light it with something? I, I mean, I feel like I need some other part of the lantern. Can, can we just, I guess I could try it. What's the worst that we do? Drown again? And maybe oh wait 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 let's let's play the notes that I found earlier. What was it? It was it was baguette ba ba. Shoot um, it was shoot. How do you play a piano? It was B E G A G, bagag. Where's B? Is is this one C? C B E F G A B. A, B, C? Yeah, this is, is this right? C? Okay, this is C. So, C, B, A, G, F, E. Okay, this one's E. Um, B, A, uh, B, E. Now what do I do with it? My love, here is the key you'll need. Me? Nancy? Am I- is Nancy the love? Here's the key you'll need. Wait, 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 wait. Can I look at it again? It said the bandit's treasure on it too. I saw that. Do we need to go back upstairs? Okay, okay, okay. Nancy, just- just save- just save one more time. <laughs> Just one more time. <laughs> uh... Okay, two more times. <laughs> Continue. I feel like this lantern is not gonna work. Oh! Okay, so I stepped in a puddle, so don't step in a puddle. Okay. Um, term paper. Oh, I guess we're just gonna take somebody's term paper. They won't need that. El Diablo, Masked Bandit. Another, this is like the second story we found about El Diablo. Case. San Francisco, dear mom and dad, sorry I haven't written in a while, but things have been really busy. I'm working now, fixing up an old house. I'm learning a lot. I'm very proud of the work. I'm still in between places, so I'll let you know what my address is once I settle down. Oh no! Oh, he's from Iowa. 
Aw, he's such a sweetie. Oh, this is definitely where he lives then. King! King! We got the king! Okay, I just need gold. This is great. I'm having so much fun. <laughs> what do you mean, oh no? What do you mean, oh no, Gooby Bits? <laughs> I just said I was having fun! <laughs> Oh no, because Nancy's gonna die because we came upon, upon Charlie's secret lair? The king of the sky will shine his ray. Oh, right, yeah, you said, okay, yeah, you say the thing, yes. Alright, postcard, sleeping bag. Uh. Oh my god. Can we take this cool stein? Nancy never steals any cool stuff. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. This is the back side of the bar. The back side of the bar is a one way mirror. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no was so right. Oh no. Oh no. What? Where are we? Oh, we popped out of this door? We went underneath and all the way around? Did I find everything I needed to find? I feel like I missed something. What time is it? It's fine. It's only midnight 30. That's a good time for sleuthing. He really crawls under here every night? Okay, I mean, I guess... I guess that was it. Okay. Oh no, this is wall. We're coming out of wall. We didn't come out of a door. We came out of a wall. Here next to the plant. Mmm. Okay. Okay. Poppy disc. I don't have computer access yet. Oh, the the the, the attic. The attic. The attic. I got the I got the songs. And go to the attic. Why, what time is it? It's 1 a.m. It's fine. That's a good time to go to the attic with the creepy baby doll head. <laughs> Nancy doesn't need to sleep. She's busy sleuthing. How can she sleep under these circumstances? Let's be real. You're being crazy if you think Nancy is sleeping instead of sleuthing. Find Diego on stairs. Find Diego on stairs. Find Diego. I'm going to write that down. Find. Diego on stairs. Is that it? Is there more to this music than what I'm seeing? Where's the... Okay, it was only for the bottom part. Find Diego on stairs? Oh, right. The handle's still broken. <laughs> Good. Good thing you have this crowbar in your back pocket all the time, Nancy.
Find Diego. Now is that is that is this is this Diego? Is this Diego? There's no way to know. Oh, I can click on these guys. I was like, it feels like I should be able to click on these things. Maybe not. Maybe I can just admire the artwork. No. Why do you let me zoom in if I can't do anything with you? This is suspicious. This is weird. It's missing an eye. Oh. I don't have anything for that. Can I look at these other ones? Oh, I can. Oh, well, they do all have eyes. Here's the mysteries of Na Na Nancy's magic pants. Na <laughs> Nancy's magic pants. You know what? I kind of wish there was like a Sisterhood of Traveling Pants kind of game. I think, I think Nancy and the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants <laughs> would be quite a concept. Only like four people would be interested in this concept, but still. All right. Um, what should I do? Maybe, maybe, you know what I probably need to do? I probably do need to uh, go to bed. <laughs> Nancy probably needs to go to bed. And I, I need to meet that other, the Lewis guy, the one guy that I haven't met yet. See, there were no strange noises when I entered my room this time. What's up with that? All right. Uh, alarm. Set alarm for... When does he show up? It says he shows up at noon. I'll let Nancy sleep in, sure. There you go. Set. Man, it's so nice to have, like, cell phones where you don't have to have that as your alarm. You could pick from any of four ringtones for your alarm instead. Everybody uses the same ones, right? We all use the same four iPhone alarms to wake up in the morning. Oh, yeah, okay, find the man. Alright, come on, Nancy. Is he gonna be in the room with the lady, or is he gonna be in the library? Hello? Um, I guess he's not in here. Do you wanna Hello? say words? Oh, she is, she's in a conversation mood. How did you meet Abby? She was the drama coach back in River Heights, and we worked on a couple of plays together. My bid on this house was too low, so she pitched in her savings to help me get the place. If it weren't for Abby, I couldn't have afforded this place. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm still pretty sure you and Abby are gay for each other, but we're just not saying it because it's the year 2000. What is Abby planning for tonight? She's putting on some kind of seance tonight to contact these ghosts or whatever she thinks is causing all of these accidents. Good. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. Bye, Nancy. What's a seance gonna do? You're just inviting more of them in. Right? You need a Ouija, Ouija board if you're gonna if you're gonna talk to him. No. All right. Is he in. Aha! Yes. Hello. 
I was so wrapped up in my book, I didn't hear you come in. My name is Lewis Chandler. Hello. There is no one available to take your call. <laughs> it's giving automated message. Um... <laughs> Uh, uh, okay, hello, Louis. I, I did mean to startle you. Uh... Pleased to meet you. My name is Nancy Drew. Are you a friend of Rose? Yes, I'd like to think so, but I'm an antique dealer, and a client told me that Rose and Abby had recently acquired the estate. I'm an authority on the Victorian era, so they were only too happy to let me use the library in exchange for my advice on the renovations. He's so, like, he's so much weirdly robotic, more so than any of the other people we've met. Uh, is the house haunted? I believe the house is haunted. Abby seems to think so. Does she? There have <laughs> been documented cases of hauntings in older mansions, and I might add, not all of the hauntings were by friendly spirits. When, whenever has a haunting been by Casper the Friendly Ghost? That's it. That's the one. <laughs> that's the one. That's the one. And he, he, you know, I would hate being haunted by him. So not even friendly spirits are welcome. Uh, uh. Yeah, he really didn't answer the question if he thought it was a ghost. Do you think a ghost is causing these accidents? Accidents? I know Rose has mentioned some inconveniences like that wall covering and the light supplies, but I would hardly call those accidents. I'm Amen. sorry, but I'm quite busy at the moment, and although I'd like to talk, I really don't have the time. Uh. Please, excuse me. I'm sorry, but I really must finish my work. Perhaps Abby can assist you. Good day. Gosh darn it, I should have asked him what he was using the library for instead of the ghost question. All right, let's go. Do I want to talk to Abby or do I want to grill? I kind of want to grill Charlie about living here. Oh my God, did you see that? That was a person. <laughs> There's no need for that game. You don't need to add extra layers of spookiness like that. Just, just for creeping me out. Hey Nancy, I really need to finish this up. Sorry. Ah, Charlie, you're such a boy. Did I open this already? Oh yeah, cause river. A river of colors. People in a house, people how strange. Hey, you know, I just wasn't expecting anybody to be there. You know, but here's the thing, it's crazy how, how whatever you're doing or the content you're consuming will affect your brain like that, right? Because, uh, like, the, the one story I think of is, um, I got really into horror comic, like, horror, um, animes. Uh, not animes, horror mangas when I was in high school. And so I would, like, stay up late and read them. <laughs> and then one night I was staying up way too late reading these, these, these horror books. And, um, and then my mom like had silently opened the door to my room and was just standing in my doorway like giving me this look like why are you awake but i didn't hear her she just appeared there and then i started screaming because <laughs> she like she just jump scared me in real life it felt like <laughs> and she was like oh my god you have to st go to bed <laughs> it's it's 1 a.m go to bed what are you doing <laughs> Sorry, Mom. But I was thinking about that the other day, just in this game. The other day I was walking my dog and I was like, man, uh, uh, like like we were, I was walking my dog and, and we came upon a bush and it had a spider web in it. And um, I was like, oh, sick. I was looking for one of these. <laughs> and it's like, no, I wasn't. I was looking for spiders in the Nancy game. That's something I'm, I need to find in this game. But instead, my stupid brain in real life was like, oh yeah, spiders, I was looking for that. <laughs> no, I didn't need that at all. The spirits wish to speak to you, Nancy. Tonight, I will channel their energies to deliver a message. Meet me down in the basement, if you dare. Please sit down. 
We oh, really right now? Have time for this. Let us begin. We are gathered here tonight to contact the shades of those who have passed before us. Gaze into the crystal ball. It will answer all of our questions. What's that? <gasps> Who has called me forth from the great beyond? Oh my god, you have to be kidding me. Are you the spirit known as Valdez? I was once called that in the world of the living. Are you the spirit who has caused these accidents? I have come back searching for her, my wife. Where can she be? Uh huh. The spirits have spoken. Sure. The seance is over. Boy, thanks for announcing it. Tomorrow, and no more time for Do you see Nancy grayed out in the background sure back there? The candles on your way they won't even show us in this pan shot. The house on fire. I'm sorry, did she say something about setting the house on fire? I was too busy looking at grayed out Nancy. What did she she just said we're gonna set the house on fire? What had what just what did she say just now? <laughs> All the Nancy Drew environments start to blend together after a while. True that's you know, I'm feeling that a little bit, that they're all kind of like they're so distinctly Nancy Drew, but they all are the same. Maybe you wake up as kids and see ghosts on the wall? Uh... Not that I recall, but I'm really not gonna go searching deep for a memory of that so that I can still sleep at night. <laughs> I'm not even gonna try to dig up a memory like that. No. No, I'm not- I'm not inviting those demons back into my brain. <laughs> also, hi Chrono Pirate, how's it going? Looking at books on eBay, I've seen a whole lot of Nancy Drew books, and I've thought about buying them. I I have to. I've thought about buying them. Because they're not easy to find some versions at libraries. Right? Like the like the Nancy Drew Files that Secrets Can Kill and Stay Tuned for Dangers were both Nancy Drew Files books. The libraries do not have those, and so I have to find copies in other ways. What am I doing in this room? What's happening? It's 10.30. Um, I feel like I should save. I don't know. I just- that just is my instinct now with this game. Uh, <laughs> save. Alright. That feels good. Ghost voice was absolutely the same voice as robotic guy, but with more emotion, right? It it had to have been. And we already know that there's a there was a hidey hole under the table for a person to be in. So there's no reason. Yeah. Nancy, it's your own gosh darn suitcase. There was zero reason for us to be in afraid or intimidated during that interaction. Okay, I don't think there's anything new in here. Should I go investigate what we just saw? Sound of a woman crying. I saw that shadow on the wall back there. Did anybody else see that? I don't, um... I don't- I don't know. Where was the woman crying? Was that just upstairs? But we know that she's got speakers up here. But I'm by the speaker vent! No? Why didn't I turn off the speaker, Nancy? Nancy, turn off the speaker. <laughs> Nancy, I'm starting to really freak out, man. I think there might be a ghost on our hands. I 
Jones is gonna pop out at any time and tell us that the gang's got a mystery on our hands. That's my room. Not what I wanted, Nancy. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to do. Uh, part of me feels like I should go bother Abby, but the other part of me thinks that she's asleep. <laughs> Okay, and I can't- I don't think I can touch this other- this door- no, okay. Uh... Were the Nancy Drew Hardy Boys crossovers in the books? I think so. I think they had crossover novels. I know they had a whole TV show together. Yeah, I think they have crossovers because I think there are several points where Nancy is like dating one of the Hardy one of the Hardy boys. Or like has like a weird situation ship going on, even though she's supposed to be with Ned. Okay, I think I maybe was actually just supposed to go to bed. Maybe we'll just go to bed. I don't I don't I don't know. It's it's tomorrow Nancy's problem. I don't I don't know what to do with you, Nancy. What's a good time to wake up? Like... Noon? noon? <laughs> Maybe Charlie will be less busy in the- in the- in the AM. Uh... Sure, 8 AM. That's a reasonable time for Nancy to wake up, I guess. Morning, Nancy. We are so back- Hey, Red Ghost! Great to see you. We are so back. <laughs> hey, did you end up finishing that Eminem's Blast game? I had to go before before I got to see, see the ending. 60s sci-fi and fantasy books are actually pretty good. Oh yeah, I remember you, you posted about those. Yeah, they are good. They looked really cool. I did the AI won the game for me. Hey, that's fantastic. I'm I'm glad because it was really against you there for a little bit. <laughs> so I'm, I'm glad it won for you. <laughs> Bought another lot of books. How many how how many dollars per book are you spending, <laughs> Goofy Fits? I hope you're getting these like fifty cents a book. Uh, okay. Oh, oh, maybe should I go talk to Charlie? Go. I don't know what to do. What should I do? Hey, Nancy, I see you survived Abby's seance. Man, that Veldez guy sure sounded creepy. I guess. Were you down here then? I don't remember seeing you. Mm -hmm. Bruce told me all about it. So how are things coming along? Anything I can help you out with? Um, you could help me out by putting your body against my body. What? Um. <laughs> yes, ask about the hidden passage, Have please. Have you come across any hidden passageways down here? You mean like a trap door leading to a room with skeletons or something? No, I haven't. Oh. Um. Have you seen the poem in the Chinese room? Yeah, I've never seen anything like that. It almost sounds like there's a hidden message in there, you know? There definitely is. You didn't need to even Have say that. Have you ever heard of someone named Valdez? I've heard of a Diego Valdez. He was a wealthy rancher who lived in the 1800s. Yeah, I just read a book on him for my history class. Uh, Diego, that's who I was looking for. I was looking for Diego. Did he have any children? No, he was sort of a hermit and never married. But he was extremely generous. He gave away thousands of dollars. Hmm. How do you like working for Abby? She's not bad. She can be a little weird. I think she gets on Rose's nerves sometimes. Abby thinks the house is haunted. Do you? Abby thinks the house is haunted. 
Do you believe in ghosts? You? I'm not sure. Let's just say I wouldn't rule it out. But that's Abby's department, not mine. How does Abby get on Rose's nerves? She always does a disappearing act whenever Rose needs her to do some work. And I think Rose is sort of had it, you know? Oh, Bread Ghost, thank you for the- Oh, thank you for the Prime sub! I'm sorry, I might- my sub alerts aren't like showing on my end for some or they're not sounding on my end for some reason. Oh, but thank you. <laughs> not forgetting to use my prime sub. Thank you, Bread Ghost. I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, the AI killed the final boss. There's a final boss in the M and M's game. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Uh, yeah, ju uh, that's crazy. Just like the idea of having a message <laughs> in this haunted mansion. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I want to keep bothering this guy. I'll let you get back to your renovation. But See I ya. guess I can't. Uh, if I talk hey, to you again, what's up? Yeah, I'll okay. let you get back to your renovation. See you around. All right. Uh, I, I guess I'll just go talk to everybody again because I feel like I'm kind of I'm dead ending. I'm 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 running out of ideas. Hello. Uh, you know Lewis. How do you know Lewis. He stopped by one day to introduce himself. He seemed awfully curious about our property. But he's an antique dealer specializing in the Victorian period. He's been extremely helpful advising us on authentic decor. Who, literally, who cares? <laughs> I'm sorry, not to be rude to you or anything in your dumb house project that's gonna burn down, but like, who cares? You have such bigger fish to fry. I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. Thanks for your help. What time is it? It's 9 a.m. I gotta wait three hours to go talk to that other guy. Maybe Abby's awake. Hey, Abby, you up? I hope you're convinced now that the spirits are with us. These ghosts are here to stay. Uh. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> you have you have an unreasonable number of conversation paths here, lady. <laughs> Uh, Red Ghost has one of the most recent, probably vivid memory of this game, though it's GBA version. Yeah, see, now now, now I need to sit down, and after I finish this, I want to watch Red Ghost's full GBA playthrough of this. I know it's on YouTube somewhere. It's I know you've got a YouTube channel, Red Ghost. The full GBA play and see what the differences are. But I had to not get too spoiled before I did it. Uh, okay. I'm convinced this house is haunted. Kind of person's Charlie, Poem, Lewis, Rose, Papers, Crying. Good lord. Let's gaslight her. I'm convinced the house is haunted. I'm just, I'm so convinced. I'm convinced that this house is haunted. I'm just not sure who is responsible. Isn't it obvious? Senior Valdez and his wife, long lost soulmates, wandering aimlessly in the netherworld. Returning to this house to search for each other. Ah, oh, I only hope that one day I will be able to reunite them so that they may find peace. Didn't Charlie say that he was like kind of a loner? He never had kids? I thought... What kind of person is Charlie? He seems to feel bad this about total non sequitur, mishap. Nancy. Ugh. It's clear to me that Charlie's totally responsible for the accidents. Who else could it have been? The ghost! He's a really nice kid, but he has no idea what he's doing. What do you mean? Unfortunately, Rose doesn't want to fire him. And there's something suspicious about him. You, you're the, we just had a whole seance for the ghost and now you're like, yeah, everything bad that's happening, it's actually this 18 year old kid. <laughs> What do you mean? Pick a lane. <laughs> oh my god. She is insane. <laughs> uh, 
My recent, you mean eight months ago? No, it wasn't that long ago. Was it really eight months ago? No, don't say that. No, it couldn't have been that long ago. It, mu I, it feels like it must have been uh, two or three. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, what's suspicious what do you about mean? it? The other day, I was down in the basement working for over an hour, and suddenly he sneaks up on me. I bet he was down there the whole time. What are you doing me. in the basement? You're the creepy one. You're the crazy one. Do you know much about Lewis? It must be great having your own expert on Victorians. He owns Chandler Interiors, a very reputable antique store. I'm sure his clients will be quite interested in our bed and breakfast once they hear about our resident ghost. Oh, so you're both gonna profit from the ghost. I heard someone crying in the hallway. Was that you? I told you the spirits were interested in you. Was it a woman crying? Do you think it was a ghost? <laughs> Nancy, na how naive are we playing this, Nancy? Yes, it was. How did you know? It must be one of our phantom residents. Do you think it was a ghost? <laughs> Do you think it was a ghost? Well, it wasn't me crying out there. Uh... How long have you known Rose? A couple of years. She has good business sense, but I think she needs to think more about advertising. Otherwise, we're just like all the other B&Bs in this town, and believe me, there's plenty of them. Literally, who are you, though? Like, you're just some woman that gave her some extra money? Why do you... Do you have any job at all? Do you have any experience? Do you have any expertise? Or you just kind of talk in to hear yourself? Like, what are we doing? What are you, what are you doing here? Get, go away, honestly. <laughs> uh... January 31st completion date. Oh no! <laughs> That's so much longer ago than I. Holy crap, this year really is flying by. Oh no. I thought it was so much more recent than that, Bread Ghost. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> That's crazy. I, I, this, is, uh, this is the worst information I've learned in this old Nancy Drew game. <laughs> it's that Bread Ghost beat this game eight months ago. <laughs> uh, sorry, what were we doing? We're having this, a very long conversation. I saw those papers in the parlor. Where did you find them? Right in my room. They're so vintage. So I'm vintage. I'm going to ask Lewis if he can get me some antique frames for them. Rose and I can use the letters in our historical display. Was there anything about the house in them? I don't think so. I really didn't go through them that much. I did mm -hmm. find this old picture of a woman dressed in men's clothing. I think it was taken in the entryway by the staircase. I sent it to a photographer to have it restored. Do you have That's any weird. idea who this woman might be? No, I don't. Sorry. Hmm. Okay. Does Charlie live around here? I'm not sure. He said he's between apartments. I think he said he's staying with friends until he can find a place of his own. Between apartments? That means homeless. Between no. <laughs> apartments? That seems kind of odd. Not for San Francisco. Rents are really high, and there are so many kids thinking they can find cheap housing out here. It's sad to say, but a lot of them end up on the streets. Have you seen the poem in my room? Oh, I love that poem. Listen, my child, to this story of dreams. How does the rest go? It was there when we bought the place. Hmm. Did the house come with a lot of furniture? There were a lot of pieces and knickknacks left behind, like the books in the study, your bed. I think it was too large to take out of the room. All right, well, this was not a very productive conversation. I personally felt like, I feel like we talked a lot, but not a lot was said. Uh, I'll let you get back to what you were doing. Pox Fobiscum. What is that? What? Who are you? Like, literally. What's happening? <laughs> Dressed in men's clothing. That sounds old-fashioned. Are we sure this woman isn't the ghost herself? Yeah. Ooh! Ooh! No, no, no! No! Oh, power! It's not ghosts! Ready? Ready? Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Vampires. What if she's a vampire? We've never seen her come out of her room. 
We've never seen her in the daytime. I mean, I know it's daytime right now, but she, she stayed in her room, right? Okay, we went down to the basement seance. It was nighttime. What if it's her, right? She's not the ghost, but she's the actual, she's the actual woman in men's clothing. And so she's here to like reclaim her property or something. I don't know, whatever, whatever Scooby-Doo villain arc she has <laughs> for, a, for a vampire. Gosh darn it. Do I want to wait? Oh, I guess it's only, it's only an hour and a half until this guy shows up. Or should I wait? Should I wait for him to show up? Okay, what if I come in here? Can I come in here and wait for him? And sneak out of the bookcase? I feel like I might die that way, but... Actually, yeah, hold on. Hold on, Nancy. Hold on. Hold on, Nancy. Okay, okay, fine. Go in there. Fine, whatever. Save. <laughs> Okay, so can I, can I, it's, it's 1045. Can I sit here and wait for him? Oh my god. He's here. Hmm. Lewis is up to something. I did. Ah, that's it. Lewis, are you in there? I'll be right there. something in his briefcase okay 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 Missy ah uh. ah god damn it <laughs> What would it be? Oh, we haven't found any numbers. I have no idea. We haven't talked to him. Ah, no! I c is it the house numbers? That's the only numbers I have. Four. Four. Six. Five. Three. Did that work? No. I got booted. Oh no. I don't have I don't have anything. Maybe he left his computer unlocked. No. Oh. Ah. Oh yeah, it is the repeat of the double lock from the last game. I don't remember how we solved that one either. I, I feel like I can't leave this room though. I feel like if I leave this room, I'm gonna mess it up. Can I? I don't know. Briefcase, there's a code somewhere, but I don't remember where. Ah, gosh darn it! <laughs> Eight months was too much of a time gap! Ah! <laughs> I should have been more on the ball. What the hell was that? Why did- did anybody else see this move? Was that just me? Did anybody else see this thing move? This game is gaslighting the crap out of me right now. Uh, 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 what do I do? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to do. I need a code and I don't know how much time I have to find a code. Or if it's just gonna be there. I think I've missed, I've missed something. 
I've missed something very important. Oh, you know who might know? Let me make a phone call. <laughs> uh, hey, Bess. Hey, Bestie. Miss you. Love you, babe. Would love it if you can give me some intel, please. Hello? Hello, it's me. Hi, Nancy. How's the case coming along? Get this. One of the owners, Abby, thinks the place is haunted by a ghost named Valdez. A ghost? Well, I'm glad I'm not out there. So tell us more about what's been going on. Do you know anything about the house's history? I, um... No, I, I'm not gonna answer your question. Can answer you my question. <laughs> I'm not sure what to do next. Diego must be the solution for the spindle puzzle on the staircase. See if that works. What spindle puzzle on the staircase? What? I should get going. Talk to you later. See ya! Bye! Where does this one take place? We're in San Francisco. We're in San Francisco at a bed and breakfast that's haunted, I guess. Diego is the solution to the spindle puzzle on the staircase. A spindle puzzle? What's a spindle? Aren't these- are these spindles? I don't- I don't know what puzzle they're even referring to. Where I got the code, but it doesn't bode well for you because something's different. Ah, no! <laughs> there aren't any ghosts in San Francisco. What do you mean there aren't any ghosts in San Francisco? <laughs> what, Silicon Valley wiped them all out? <laughs> what staircase puzzle? No, all, all calling Bess did was make me more confused than ever. <sighs> all right, where's I gotta? Where's UHS? <laughs> all right, yeah, freak out there for a second, computer. I gotta, I gotta pull this up. Hold on, hold on. All right, all right. My computer's gonna freak out for a minute, but let me just UHS Nancy. Mm-hmm. There you go. Now you can see that better. There we go. Now you can see what I see. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, okay. Game advice around the mansion. Tapestry riddle. Yeah, okay. I did the piano. I did the fireplace. What the heck? Yeah, what are the banister spindles? What is this? Where am I even clicking? Each of the wooden spindles has four sides containing a letter. What is a spindle? <laughs> is it not just the, like, the bars? Spindle. Stair, stair spindle. Okay, that's what I thought it was. I thought it was this thing. I thought this was a spindle, but I can't seem to be clicking on the spindles. Um. <laughs> there are no girls in San Francisco. It's too new. There, what? When did when did San Francisco get established? The 1800s during the gold rush? What? That's not long enough for there to be ghosts. It's definitely like the wrong time period to have Victorian ghosts. I think, <laughs> but still. May not be in the same game state as me. You're mentioning not knowing a stair puzzle. I did that by the end of the second chapter. Oh. Puzzle is one of only two things I had to look up. Oh, okay, okay. So you did this this much earlier than I did. Wooden spindles contains a letter. But where since there are five poles, 
No, I know what word to spell. I don't know what... Where the spindle... Where spindles? <laughs> oh, hold on. No, I'm sorry, Nancy. I was about to say you. Hold on. There you go. I know, you're very, you're very particular about how I click around on everything. Okay. <laughs> Is it at the top of the staircase? I feel like it has to be. Yep, okay. Got it. Oh, it's one of these puzzles. <laughs> Uh, all right. Do you move on your own? No. What? What's happening? Did I do it? Okay. <laughs> oh, good. What? Diego, I've waited so long for your return, but can you imagine if they put it looking like this on GBA? Please tell me they didn't use this, like, cursive font on the GBA. <laughs> uh, I've waited so long for your return, but have kept our treasure true here is the tool you'll need to find it. May your rainbows rainbows never run out of luck. The stand and moon no, the stars and moon will shine on you as you begin your guest. Quest, 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 it's Q, quest. <laughs> Travel to the corners for it. Vid it. Vid. Vid it? Visit, visit, it's an S. I freaking hate these S's. They're so, they're way too tall. They look just like the D's. Uh, no, that's not a D. I don't know where a D is, but all these S's look like D's to me. No, gosh darn it, Nancy. Visit all from Earth to work no, East to West. Then journey back into the center where you will surely see the sun shine over the land in perfect harmony. Uh, okay. You said it in a way that sounded important, but I don't know what to do with it quite yet. Um, so I'm gonna go. Uh, should I should I close this? Should I just do I just leave that? I'll just leave that there. Okay, <laughs> great. <laughs> Imagine it looked like this, but three thousand less pixels. <laughs> Then it threw up text on the screen because it knew you couldn't read that tiny screen. Oh, that's- see, there you go. <laughs> that's helpful. I feel like just reading this cursive is, is decoding something in and of itself. Alright, nothing like this looks familiar to me. Okay, I am gonna look up though. That's- it. whoops. Alright, kind of thought you would go back to- There- oh, there you go. There you go. Oh my god, stop freaking out, computer. What? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Computer, stop freaking out. I might I might have I might have ruined my Nancy game. I might have freaked out my Nancy game. But I needed to look up. I just wanted a hint for the the um the code. Game advice? No. Renovation? No. Um. Lewis's secrets? 
briefcase combination. I got it. I found his briefcase. Lewis wrote important numbers, including this one on his laptop. Oh, I need to get his... Oh, I haven't gotten into the laptop. What? What do you mean play the maze game? Wait, you can play it with... What? Wait, wait, I can just play the maze game? I don't have to wait? Oh, did I upset Nancy? Ah, shit, I did. Ah, god damn it. Oh no, I've upset Nancy, no! <laughs> Nancy, I'm sorry! Ah, no, Nancy! <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Nancy. I don't know where I saved last. Yeah, Nancy, Nancy did not like that one bit. All right. <laughs> uh, laptop was already unlocked. I, maybe it was unlocked and I just didn't know. Uh Oh shoot, I have to okay, I have to do this again. I have to watch him open the briefcase. There we go. Arsonian, hi, how are you? Up to something. <laughs> Gotta watch him be up to something again. Aha, that's it. Lewis, are you in there? I'll be right there. Hiding something in his briefcase. Okay. All right. Close. 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 Back up. All right. Come out here. Computer. Are you kidding me? I thought I needed a password to get in to the maze game. This is weird. Uh. What? Whoa. <laughs> All right, this is weird. <laughs> this feels this feels so uncomfy. <laughs> uh, I I don't know what it is. This is the scariest part of this game so far. Uh, can I walk on this? All right. Oh my god, this is so spooky. This away? Nope. <laughs> Um, uh, hello? I feel like, I feel like I'm about to die. I feel like I'm gonna get jump scared in the maze. <laughs> I'll just hang out with the pups this evening. Oh, yay, that's so nice. The local haunted house is scaring them. Oh, you've got a haunted house nearby that's scaring your puppies? No good. Uh, well, do we know this be the future of Nancy Drew? <laughs> How are you, Parky? I, I'm, I'm doing okay. I'm, I'm, I think I'm coming down with something. I'm a little under the weather, but, um, not yet. I'm just, you know, just coming down a little bit. It's just drizzling a little. The weather's not too bad yet. So, <laughs> not totally down with the sickness. Am worried about it, though. But I love this Nancy game. I'm not loving this maze at the moment, but I, I really... This is like the spookiest Nancy I feel like we've played. It's such a great primer for Halloween. See, now I'm all turned around. I have no idea where I even came from. <laughs> well, it wasn't from there. Down with the sickness. Okay, did, was, did I go- was it this way that I went through? Nope. That- is that an ending? It looks so spooky. Is that the end? That doesn't feel- is this right? What? It makes the gauntlet, like, 
transport noise? <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> San Francisco City Guide Hotels. Oh, Golden Gardenia Hotel. That's what this used to be called? Golden Gardenia Hotel. Oh, that feels important. Let's write that down. Man's Lewis basically had no firewall. Nah, he was like, no, little girls won't be getting into my computer. Not with this really sick maze game. <laughs> Golden Gardenia Hotel. I right hear hope it passes. Thanks. <laughs> Casper drew the nosy ghost haunting this place. She is. She is. She's not a friendly ghost. She's a nosy ghost. Ah ha 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 ha. Found your briefcase codes. You're really insecure. You shouldn't have an unlocked passwords document. <laughs> I can steal this whole man's life right now. Look, I know his laptop password is antiques. All caps. Terrible password choice, by the way. <laughs> and his... I can find his firebox. I can I can turn off his home security alarms. His Get into his home office safe. His username is going to be like his name or something. It's going to be just like Lewis and the password is antiques. Because this man has no creativity. What is this? It's four, six, five, three... Four, eight, six, eight. Got it. Somebody needs to give this man a, a, a basic training. <laughs> the most basic of, of rudimentary training in... Oh, I have a floppy disk. In safety. What do you mean not available? I have, I have one right here. Can I put it in? Not available. Garbage? Not, garbage is also not available? Okay. Why? Can I... Put in my floppy disk? Oh. Lu Lewis. Enter. Password. And. Teeks. What did I say? What did I say? This man has no safety whatsoever. Of course it was just going to be his name. Why can't I put the floppy disk in? Do you not have a floppy disk drive, my guy? It's the year 2000. You should really be having a floppy disk drive. I need a disk. Oh, that's where it goes? My bad. I can't believe it was just Lewis. <laughs> and Equus. Act from fiction. Great Christmas gold robbery. Charlie Murphy term paper. Oh, so he's in college. Okay. He's, he's at least in college. I thought maybe he was a high school student. Uh, robbery... Diego Valdez, question mark? All right. Western Mutual United Bank fraud. Applegate connection. These are all like tidbits that we've seen that he's pulling together. I don't, I don't know how they really come together. Quite yet, but. Now how do you eject a floppy disk? Oh, great. It does it for us. Excellent. Alright, it was... Four... Six... Five... Three... And... Four... Eight... Six, eight. Ah, ha, 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 
stole this guy's final term paper. I did. I know. I feel kind of bad because it's probably only on that floppy disk. Now he's going to have to rewrite that whole paper. He put a lot of work into that and he's never going to find this floppy disk ever again. <laughs> Dumbo who? What's that? What's what? Uh, my name is Wing Tang. When I was 19, I worked as a grader on the Transcontinental Railroad and saw two great railroads meet at the Golden Spike. Came back to San Francisco in 1871, worked as a chef for Miss Applegate at the Hotel Chinua and then at the Golden Gardenia, which we called Gumbo Fu. Gumbo Fu. Isn't there isn't there some Nancy game that takes place in Louisiana? I just say that because gumbo. Gum Bo Fu. I remember the great earthquake, how it shook the tall buildings like stalks of rice. The great fire destroyed so many buildings and people. San Francisco also had a great fire. Does every major city have a great fire? <laughs> Mr. Orman is an expert in the colonial history of California. He'll give a seminar on treasure hunting techniques at the upcoming Fortune Hunter Expo in San Jose later this year. Uh, okay. Good for him. Not interested. What did he take? Is this what he took? Argentine appraisers? Dear sir, I represent a client who would like to sell their collection of post-Civil War gold bull bullion? I wishes to remain anonymous. Approximately $50,000 in uncirculated bank standard gold coins. Oh, he wrote this. Okay. What did he take? Is this what he took? What? Rick Arlen is back with a vengeance! <laughs> Rick Arlen from the last game? Oh my god! Soap opera star Heartthrob Rick Arlen has renewed his contract with Worldwide Broadcasting but admits he had misgivings about another season of Light of Our Love. It was a very difficult time in my life, the actor admits. There were a lot of things going on. I didn't know if it was time to move on. Rumors have persisted that Arlen had been a victim of a stalker and that a teen detective named Nancy Drew- Oh my god, that's us! Was on the case! Neither Rick nor the show's producer, William Pop, has had any comment. Oh my god! That's creepy that I'm in his briefcase! <laughs> in a Rick Arlen article? No, I didn't mean to- No, I didn't mean to close that- Ah, oh, gosh darn it, I did not mean to close that. Which side of the brief- uh, which side of the briefcase is this? I didn't look. This side? Okay. Four. Six. Five. Three. Four. Eight. Six. Eight. That wasn't everything, was it? Aha. Chandler and Tears. Should I call Chandler and Tears? I could write down their number. Uh. Wonder if you're on a timer right now. Hey, hey, whoa, power. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't rush me here. Hold on. No, 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 no. Don't say things like that for people to walk in and and me get caught. Okay, I think I think I looked at all the things in here. Okay, right, right. Okay. Um All right. I don't I don't know what to do now. I got to do the banister puzzle again. And then what did I just walk? No, this is not what I, This is not what I wanted. Maybe I do. Maybe I could call. All 
All right, all right. Um. Okay. Four, one, five. Five, five, five. Three. Two. No, what do you. No, no. <laughs> Why are you ringing? I didn't put the one at the beginning. Okay, hold on. Five, five, five. Three, two, five, three. We're sorry. Your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check hmm. the number and dial again. That was that was the number for Chandler Interiors. Okay, so let me do this. Go coins. Eelies, Eelies, floor. Okay, and then I read this poem, and then I put that away, and then I came through here. We did all that, and now. Uh, what time is it? 1 p.m.? Now we go talk to people. Now we save the game. <laughs> And then we could just go talk to people again? Alright, thank goodness I made it out alive. That was... Uh, I... I... <laughs> Power made me very concerned that I was not gonna survive that interaction. I get some better 2 p.m. bells. Hello. Um, rainbow designs? Have you found any rainbow designs in the house? Rainbows? No. Not that I can remember. Do you know what gumbo foo means? No. Not that I can remember. This lady is like literally the most useless person to talk to in this whole game. I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. Thanks for you your help. Thanks for nothing from you. You don't know anything. You never do anything. <laughs> Every question I ask you, just respond no. It's not very good improv practice of you. I need a yes and please for more information. Hi, Nancy. What's up? Charlie, I found this diskette. I think it's yours. I gotta give you your term paper back. Thanks a lot, Nancy. Luckily, I had a backup at the school. Oh, see, it was fine. It didn't matter that I took his term paper. He was fine. <laughs> Did you ever figure out whatever happened to the gold? Nobody knows. Some historians say that the bank faked the robbery to collect the insurance money. Mm hmm. Was it El Diablo who stole the gold or someone else? It was definitely El Diablo, but no one knows who he was. In my opinion, El Diablo never existed. He was a composite of different outlaws from that era. Mm, or maybe it was El Diego. I'll let you get back to your renovation. See ya. Mm-hmm. Okay. Is there something weird going on on the wall over here? No, it's just a shadow. Okay, talk to him, talk to him. Should, do I talk to Lewis? Wrong room. Just gonna close that. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Um. Oh, and Abby. I forgot about Abby, too. Oh, he's not in here. Is he just... Oh, I wonder if he's just not coming back today. Maybe I can find him and Abby canoodling somewhere. Plotting something. Yeah, that checks out. That's normal. That seem that's fine. That's healthy. 
That's fine. Hi, Nancy. <laughs> Gosh, she's scarier than the ghosts. I'll let you get back to what you were doing. Ta ta for now. Okay. Uh. What? What now? <laughs> what do I do now? Something about rainbows? Um. The room with the books. About illusion, to be fair. The room with the books about illusion? I... I don't know. I feel like I'm missing something. I mean, I'm missing... Gold. Uh, listen, my child, to the story of dreams and know that the beginning is more difficult than it seems. When the ten daughters are reunited in order, when the four-sided box is in order, when the eye of the phoenix is in hand, when the bird of fire can see again, when the moon sleeps and the sun plays, the king of the sky will shine its rays, and hidden beneath a river of colors will lie a gate to golden wonder. Hmm. 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 Yeah, I don't know what to do about any of that. I'm gonna go to bed about it, I guess. <laughs> uh. Ooh, yeah, maybe, maybe let's come back out at night. I wonder if I should go investigate. Okay, okay, didn't love that. Good! Great. Good. Great. Good. Very good. Good. It's good and great, actually. It's so good and great, I'm gonna- I have to save the game again. <laughs> uh, the person at the seance is also in possession of books about creating illusions. That's right. Yeah. Oh, no, she's very suspicious. She's the most suspicious character in this whole game, for sure, Z. <laughs> Nancy's sleep schedule is screwed. Who needs sleep when you're sleuthing? I've got places to be and things to do. I don't need- I don't need a regular man's sleep schedule. That's for chumps who- who aren't sleuthing. Real detectives do their work at all hours of the day and night. Everyone knows this. <laughs> Especially Nancy. Oh, it was a tape recorder. Yoink. Um, good thing they left all this in here for me to find. Alright, we'll just put that back. And... Um... Should I go back to the back again? Yeah, let's do that, I guess. Your lantern. Anything new? There's the floppy disk I stole earlier. Diablo. Went through all of this. That. Yeah, I went through all of this already. Cassette tape. What am I gonna do with the cassette tape? Where's that one girl's room? Is she asleep? Is she here right now? Hi, Nancy. 
Aha! I found out how you rigged the seance table with a projector. <laughs> that was a pretty good show you gave. Okay, so I staged part of the seance. But that still doesn't mean this place isn't haunted. Mm -hmm. Seances were very popular during the Victorian era. When was the Victorian era? I to entertain era? our guests with them. It'll be a great way to promote the place. You're literally a crazy person. Are you the ghost who is haunting this place? There's more to this house than you think, Nancy. You probably don't believe me, and with good reason, I admit it. But there are some mysteries in life best left unsolved. Not for Nancy. Nancy solves all mysteries. Have you been creating these accidents to help promote the bed and breakfast? Of course not! I've had nothing to do with these accidents. They cost us both time and money. If you want to find out who's behind the accidents, ask our resident handyman. No, you're the suspicious I'll let you one. Get back to what you were doing. Pox Phobiscum. Ugh. Get bent. All right, I'm uh, I'm I'm at a loss again of what to do. And apparently, apparently pulling up UHS breaks Nancy. <laughs> So I just need to wait till the morning to talk to Charlie again, I guess? That's fine. Nancy's sleep schedule doesn't matter. She can sleep for, uh, 12 hours. That's fine. <laughs> morning, Nancy. Who's saying morning, Nancy? Are you saying that to you, Nancy? Okay. Going down the stairs, gonna talk to Charlie. Don't know where the little eyes are, I don't know what to do. I feel like I haven't even found the main puzzle yet. I feel like the main puzzle is those words, and I have no idea what to do with these symbols. Hi, Nancy. What's up? I guess nothing's up. Apparently, I can't talk to you about anything. I'll let you get back to your renovation. Bye, Nancy. This lady is no use Hello. at all. I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. Take care. Okay, is there anything I haven't used yet? It's this thing, this thing in the cassette tape. I have no idea what to do with the cassette tape. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna, I'm, <laughs> Nancy's not human, talks to herself like a maniac. It's true, she's not human. She is, she's, she's the ghost. She's the otherworldly one. Okay, I'm gonna look up UHS on a different device so I don't break the Nancy game again. UHS, Nancy, uh, mm-hmm. Okay, so we... How can I solve the tapestry riddle? Like... Where... Where do I need... No, where do I need... Oh, this says I should call- I should call people. I should call people. This mentioned calling Emily, which I don't think I've ever done. Okay, I'm just gonna call everybody before I let UHS tell me anything else. Blah! 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 No! God! No! No! Nancy! Nancy will not die in the fire! No! It's locked. No! Oh god, it's locked! Oh god, I, there's a fire extinguisher somewhere! Oh my god, there it is! Here it is! It's in here! Ah! 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 <laughs> no!
Not today, Nancy! Did we still die? I talked to everybody in the house, and none of them can figure out what caused the fire. Maybe I should take Lewis's advice and cut my losses before it's too late. Uh, what advice? What advice? He has a client who might want to buy the place. Someone with more experience and money to finish all of the renovations. <laughs> what the fire department say? What did the fire department say? They think the fire was caused by sparks from the fireplace. No. Since it doesn't have a screen. And I specifically told Charlie to buy one. How could he have forgotten? No. I am bound and determined to stick with this house no matter what. Why? Nothing can drive me away. I don't care if it's fires, earthquakes, or Mr. Valdez with his gang of ghosts. Excuse me for prying, but why did you spend so much money to insure the house against fire? For protection. I've put my entire life savings into this house, and if it goes up in smoke, I'll lose everything. That's not true. You have a million dollar insurance policy. Uh... <laughs> that was right into the guy. See, this is what I said. I was like, Nancy's gonna die in a fire. I'm almost kind of sad that I didn't like let the fire go and see her death sequence in that. But uh, I was very alarmed. I was very panicked. I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. Bye. What, there's a smaller game between corner of your game and the webcam. Oh my god. Cause oh. <laughs> See, I broke the Nancy game and it broke my stream. <laughs> does it move when I move? It does. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> uh, oh, it's just been there. Oh, I guess all my I guess my settings just weren't set quite right. <laughs> it sucks because this Nancy game like like totally blows everything out of proportion, so I can't. Um, like, I can't access OBS or even close the game without it- even access the internet without the game freaking out. These older Nancy games- the older games, they- they really do a number on your computer. And by that I mean this- this much too new computer. It can't- it can't handle these- these early aughts games. All right, let's talk to everybody about the fire, I guess. Hey, Nancy. I hear there's been another accident. You've got to believe me. I didn't have anything to do with it. I just hope Rose doesn't blame me for this one. Um, it wasn't even just this Nancy game. What is up? <laughs> Are the other Nancy games like this too? Oh no! Oh, gosh, I'm such an I'm so unprofessional. This is amateur hour over here. <laughs> Uh, Rose fire screen? The fire screen you were supposed to get. But I did buy it. Lewis told me that it was the wrong type and said he'd get another one, so I returned it. Yeah, see, I think Lewis and, and Rose are in cahoots for sure. And that's all there is to it. And that's all there is to it? Everyone mm -hmm. thinks I'm causing these accidents because I was always the last one there, but I had nothing to do with them. I can tell you this. There's something unusual going on in this house. No doy, my guy. That's literally why I'm here. <laughs> you want to tell me right now? You want to tell me right now? We're I feel like we're getting near-ish to end game. I feel like we're at least in the last half of end game. Halfway through the game, you want to come up and tell me, boy, there's something really weird going on here. <laughs> yeah, you don't say. Uh something unusual going on in your house. What makes you say that? <laughs> Who was the last person you saw in the parlor before the fire? I've been working mostly in the basement, but I think I saw Abby go through those papers right before the fire. Oh, there's no oh, more questions? Let's get back to your renovation. Hasta la pasta. Hi, Nancy. What's up? I'll let you get back to your renovation. Thanks. Charlie's too cute to have done it. There's no way he could have done it. He's far too adorable. <laughs> yeah, hasta la pasta. Isn't that cute? 
<laughs> Pretty confused about the order of events of what we're doing in here. Yeah, I don't I I don't I I don't I don't know what's happening. I just I'm just trying to fumble my way through this. What time is it? 2 p.m. Excellent. I can talk to this ding dong in here. He 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 must have started the fire. Oh, where is he? Oh, oh, you mean he didn't trap himself in the library when he started the fire in the other room? Hmm. Hmm. Who could have guessed that he wouldn't stick around? Does this thing have a cassette player or does it just have a floppy disk drive? Oh, it has a CD drive. All right. The person who had you in an article in the briefcase has something to do with it. Super suspicious. Oh, Lewis? Yeah. Or Rick Arlen. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if all of a sudden Rick Arlen came back from game from the previous game and he was like, I'll, I'll finish you off, Nancy. <laughs> Once and for all. Hi, Nancy. I can't believe we had a fire. I can't believe it. I bet Charlie was down there before it started. I freaking hate this lady. <laughs> why would someone want to destroy those papers? You mean, why would someone want to destroy the house and you know what? I can think of a million reasons why. Get bent. What do you mean? Never mind. It doesn't concern you. Uh, I'll let you get back to what you were doing. Bye. I need to rummage through this lady's room again. When is she not around? Do I have her time written? Oh, she's out of there from three to six. She's out of her room from three to six. What time is it? Okay, I need her to leave her room again. I think that's part of it, is that I haven't been back in her room since I died the first time. This woman has I'm a secret villain model design. She does, and everything that she says is so nasty. She has such a viper of a personality. Ugh. Not like Charlie, who we can all agree is, is totes adorbs and never would cause anything like this. He's just a college student trying to get by with his handyman side work. He can do no wrong. Okay, what else? Like the woman in the Venice game? Yes. Or even just like like my boss Manette in the in the um, Danger by Design. Just just like just bad vibes. They make so many ladies with bad vibes here. Only half an hour, it doesn't feel- it's only 15 minutes, it doesn't feel like it's worth it to go to sleep for 15 minutes. <laughs> okay, so what else do I have? I have... I thought I gave him back the floppy disk, did I take it again? Uh, okay, I've got cassette tape and this thingy. That's it, really. We need to do the Chinese, the Chinese symbol puzzle. I should go call Beth. Oh, that's what I was gonna do. I was I went in there to call people, and then everything was on fire. <laughs> I totally forgot I was gonna do that. All right, I, I st I'm still gonna do that. Just after I investigate this lady's room. Come on, get out of there. Let me go investigate your room. Is 
There we go. Hello. Why are you still here? I'll let you get back to what you were doing. Pox Phobiscum. Ugh. No, you're not supposed to be here from three to six. Fine, I'm gonna go call Bess and Emily. Oh wait, where is it? Okay, I'm gonna call Emily. Five, three, seven. Foxworth speaking. Hello, it's Nancy Drew. Hi, Nancy. How's your case coming along? Can you tell me about the Chinese writing system? I seem to come across a lot of Chinese symbols. Oh, it doesn't surprise me. The Chinese have been an important part of San Francisco history for over a hundred years. The symbols are called Hanzi, and each one represents a particular thing, or an idea, or an action. You find them all over on business cards, takeout cartons, artwork. I found some old papers in the house, plus a page from a phone directory dated 1894. Oh, that sounds valuable. It's hard to find old documents like that before 1906. Why before 1906? What do you know about the Bandit's Treasure? Bandit's Treasure? Oh, you mean the play! The rep did a season where they performed old local plays, including the Bandit's Treasure. I've never seen it, but I hear the music is fantastic. Is any of this helpful? There are so many questions here. <laughs> Have you heard of an antique dealer named Lewis Chandler? Nope, never heard of him. Have you heard of an actress, Lizzie Applegate? Oh, sure. She was a good friend of Lotta Crabtree, another popular actress in the late 1800s. As I recall, she opened up a big hotel. What was it called? The Hotel Mandrake or the Oriental? I forget. Was it in this neighborhood? Is it still around? Oh no, this one was downtown. It was very big, but I think it burned down. Do you know what the words gumbo fu mean? Hmm, sounds Chinese to me. Why don't you ask everyone what they think it means? It may have something to do with the house. In the meantime, I'll ask my friends about it. Gumbo fu. Did anybody hear a, a, a door open and close in the background? Am I gonna, am I gonna die? Have you ever come across hidden rooms in Victorian mansions? No, but I've read that many houses were only partially rebuilt after the Great Earthquake, closing off damaged rooms from the rest of the house. Female <laughs> Ray Romano. <laughs> Do you know where Yerba Buena Town is? That's what San Francisco was called back during the Spanish colonial period, but no one calls it that anymore. Oh my god, I don't care about the Spanish in San Francisco. Tell me about the Spanish and San Francisco. Oh, you could write a book on that. Oh my the Spanish god. Spanish were the first Europeans to settle this area during the 1700s, and it stayed that way until after the Mexican-American War when it was handed over to the United States. It couldn't have happened at a better time because gold was discovered outside the city not more than two years later. Sounds like a voice you do. <laughs> See, I feel like I'd be a great Nancy voice actor because they all just play extremely heavy unnecessary accents <laughs> with all of that gold around i'd imagine there's a lot of buried treasure in this town yeah you'd think that but i've never heard of any in san francisco except for treasure island out in the bay but that's named after the book not some legend all right well that was all the questions i could possibly think to ask you i should get going goodbye emily call anytime okay um Okay, I, you know what, I'm gonna call Bess, but I might call it tonight after that, because I feel like I'm kind of hitting a, a stop, like a break point. Ah, shoot, wait, reset, reset, reset. Reset. One, five, two, three, five, 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 four, four, six, eight. Hello? Hi, Bess. What's up? You'll never believe this, but things have gotten even more complicated. 
I found some clues that there might be buried treasure in the house. Wow! Oh, Nancy, it sounds like you've got a real case on your hands. How can we help? Hmm, alright, there was a seance. Do I tell them about the seance? Do I tell them that there was a fire? Do I tell them about the secret room? No, I think I'll ask them about Chinese. I'm sure Bess and George know a lot of Chinese. Do either of you know what gumbo foo means? It sounds Chinese. <laughs> Call Emily. She'll know. Emily didn't know. <laughs> God. Can you guys give me a clue? I'm not sure what to do next. Talk to people about that gumbo foo. Then check to see what Rose has to say. I, I, I just talked to literally everybody in the house. None of them gave me a gumbo foo option. All right. I should get going. Talk to you later. See ya. Bye. Okay. I think I think that's maybe a good point to leave it tonight, and then, and maybe tomorrow with a fresh brain, I'll be able to figure everything out. <laughs> All right, let me let's 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 see who we can raid to. Uh, I know Big Tall was playing was playing um, Outlaw Golf earlier. I don't know who else is on. Uh, whoop. let's see. Uh, oh, there's quite a few people on. Oh, the dwarf is still on. Oh, Mizzy Corn is on playing. Oh man, there's so many good people on right now. Oh, let's read Mizzy Corn. She's doing Paper Mario. That sounds fun and cute. Yeah, let's read Mizzy Corn. She's so fun. Mizzy Corn playing Paper Mario. Oh yeah, that'll be so fun to watch. Excellent. Okay, well thank you guys for hanging out. Thank you be for being here. I think tomorrow we're going to be able to crack this Nancy mystery and hopefully start Super Monkey Ball 2. I'm very excited for that. So thank you guys for being here. Thanks for hanging out and uh, I'll see you next time. Alright, I got to- I got to- did I save this? I gotta save. Done. Quit. And stream.